Hey guys, so in this episode, I'm going to cover the arteries of the uh, torso and pelvis. So the thoracic aorta starts up here in the thoracic or chest cavity. And it's coming down from the descending aorta right there. So this is the thoracic aorta in the thoracic cavity. Once it goes below the diaphragm muscle, it is now known as the abdominal aorta. The abdominal aorta before it splits into the iliac arteries. Then we have the celiac trunk, and the celiac trunk is going to be right here. Celiac trunk. The specific branches of the celiac trunk, um, ask your TAs about them in class, because you can really only see the splenic artery right here. And the other two are hard, too hard to see, so you'll probably be tested on cadavers or something like that. Then we have the superior mesenteric artery, which sits right here. So the superior mesenteric artery is going to sit right here on top of the renal vein right there. So superior mesenteric artery. Inferior mesenteric artery is going to be right here, kind of at a slant or an angle right there to the left. So it's kind of slanted to the left. Inferior mesenteric artery. And the renal arteries are going to be back up here, going horizontal. And the renal arteries are supplying blood to the kidneys. Okay. Next we have the gonadal arteries which are going to come out from the abdominal aorta to the side here. And those are the red vessels that are wrapping or intertwining with the gonadal veins which will be the blue ones. So then for the arteries specifically of the pelvis we have the common iliac arteries here which is the first branch from the abdominal aorta. Abdominal aorta, common iliac arteries, Going deep into the pelvis, so if you look right there, this specific angle, going deep into the pelvis is the internal iliac artery. If you continue on towards the leg, this is going to be the external iliac artery. Then once you zoom back out and look down, you see the external iliac artery, once it breaches this inguinal ligament and goes into the upper leg, it is now known as the femoral artery, and we'll talk about that one later in lower extremities. One, we're going to cover the veins of the chest and the abdomen, as well as the pelvis. So, very important to think about when you're thinking about veins, they are draining and going back towards the heart, always. Arteries are going away from the heart, veins are going back towards the heart. So, superior vena cava is going to be right here, superior vena cava. Inferior vena cava is this entire thing here. So everything below the heart, inferior vena cava, before you have the iliacs, which are draining back in. Okay. So we have the hepatic veins and hepatic portal vein. So I'm going to grab a liver model. Real quick. So we have the liver model right here. So you have the inferior vena cava. So the way the liver is supposed to lie is kind of like this. So. So you have, you're looking at the back side, here is the inferior vena cava. And so the two veins, well, the veins you can see right here, draining directly back into the inferior vena cava, those are the hepatic veins. This purple vein right here, which is very large, is the hepatic portal vein. So if you're looking at cadavers, um, make sure you don't mess up. Hepatic portal vein is a vein, it's very large because it's draining all the blood supply from your intestines. Okay. Then we have your splenic vein. So your splenic vein you'll be able to see right here. You look and you see your spleen in your left upper quadrant and you see your splenic vein inside of it. It's purple on this model, it should be blue, I don't know what's going on there, it's okay. Superior mesenteric vein, inferior mesenteric vein, you can't see on this model. Renal veins, however you can. So the renal veins are right here, draining the blood from the kidneys. So these are the renal veins there. The gonadal veins are going to be different on both sides. So you have the gonad right gonadal vein here, draining back into the inferior vena cava. Right gonadal vein, the blue vessel. Then your left gonadal vein is going to drain back into the left renal vein. So this is why in males, one testicle sits a little bit higher than the other, or should, is because the left gonadal vein drains back higher into the left renal vein 
right there. And the right gonadal vein drains back into the inferior vena cava at a lower point. Next, we have the iliac veins. So the iliac veins are carbon copy of the arteries, just in reverse. So we have the um, external iliac veins, which are draining back here. Then if you were to look internal, you'd be able to see right down here, the internal iliac vein is draining blood back into the common iliac veins, and then the common iliac veins drain back into the inferior vena cava. And also the connection is the femoral vein is draining back into the external iliac vein before it goes to internal iliac vein or common iliac vein.